Microsoft has released new optional KB503594 One Preview Update for Windows 10 22H2. This update introduces widgets on the lock screen, Windows Spotlight on the desktop, and brings several bug fixes for remote desktop, Windows Hello for Business, and more. This is an optional update and need to manually install from Settings, Update and Security and click on Check for Updates. The download and installation may take some time depending on internet speed, how fast it download update files from Microsoft server and system configuration. Once download and installation completed, you need to restart your computer to apply changes. If in case you experience problem installing the update, you can download the offline installer to install it manually. To do this visit Microsoft Update Catalog website and search the KB number. Here choose the package that matches your device's configuration. If you are running an Intel or AMD based PC, you have to download the x64 package. If you have Snapdragon based ARM PC, then the ARM64 package is for you. Once the package download double click on it to apply on your device. Again you need to restart your PC to apply changes. After installing this update, Windows 10 22H2 will be updated to build 19045.4239. You can run WinVer command to check the latest build number. Now talking about new features and changes, users can now enable Windows Spotlight as their desktop background. This feature automatically changes the desktop wallpaper with images from Bing. To turn on this feature open settings, personalization then background. Here from the drop-down menu choose Windows Spotlight. Another introduction of today's update is widgets to the Windows 10 lock screen. After install this update, Windows 10 lock screen will now display widgets, including weather, sports scores, traffic information, and stock information. This feature can be customized at the settings of personalization lock screen page. Well Microsoft noted, both of these features are rollout gradually, so they may not be available for everyone. If you are not seeing this options, don't worry it will come to your device upcoming days. Also if your device is eligible for Windows 11 upgrade, after install this update you might see a message that invites you to upgrade to Windows 11. In addition to this today's update, introduces several important changes and fixes for Windows 10 devices aiming to enhance security, user experience, and system reliability. IT administrators can now use Mobile Device Management MDM, to disable the post-login provisioning prompt for users on entry-joined machines by enabling the Disable Post-Logon Provisioning policy setting. Additionally, search highlights have been added to the taskbar search box in the European Economic Area, improving user interaction. The update also addresses critical issues, such as the resolution of a deadlock in Cloud AP affecting virtual machine user switches, and an improvement in the anti-malware skin interface AMSI, to better detect bypass attempts, alongside fixing a problem where certain applications relying on the Complus component would become unresponsive. Furthermore, enhancements and fixes have been made to network and device connectivity, including addressing access issues to network resources from remote desktop sessions with remote credential guard enabled and solving scanner connectivity problems via ESCL over USB. The update ensures Microsoft Edge's functionality on Surface Hub, corrects a time service configuration mismatch in the Windows Settings app, and resolves an image loading error in the load image function.
improvements to mobile operator settings, app locker rule enforcement, and group policy service reliability further demonstrate the update's comprehensive approach to maintaining and enhancing system performance and security.